All right, welcome back again, everybody. Nick the Kid here. We are at Deep River County Park, and uh, be using my ultra light rod tackle four pound test with the rooster tail. It's going to be the very first cast. It was here on Sunday, and I had a Strike King on there. And I had several bluegill chase after the striking. So I'm curious to see today if uh, the rooster tail can get the job done. I'm going to be trying uh, multiple spots here today hoping to get hooked uh, with some fish today with the rooster tail I know that there's some uh, good bass in here Cause last year I had a good sized bass probably about a f good four pound bass maybe a little bigger that had uh, hit my line Ooh, I got a little bite there. Ooh, I got a fish on, guys. Fish on, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woohoo. First fish. And what do we got here? Ooh, got a nice uh, green sunfish, everybody. Look at that. Cool. Sweet rooster tail. Woohoo. Uh, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, hoping to catch, look at that, nice little uh, green, green sunfish here at the deep river. Pretty sweet. First fish. Woohoo. Thank you, little guy. It toss you back there. All right. Well, let's uh, keep fishing and uh, see if we get some more strikes here. That was cool. First fish within like the, I don't know, what was that? Four casts. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I had another bite there. That might've been a little bass. That was pretty cool. Saw a little flash there, felt a tug. I really want to be cautious. Oh, fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, yes. Fish on, little guy. Woohoo. Another little fish. Sweet. Look at that. Another little sun, uh, little greenie. Dang, this thing is an aquarium baby. Woof. Look at this little thing. This might be the tiniest little green sunfish I ever caught in my life, man. Smash that little rooster tail. Look at this little guy. This thing is baby, micro baby. <laughs> that is super fun. Little micro fish. Micro green sunfish. Ah, sorry little guy. Oh no. No, here. Try to get you back in the water. There you go. He's back in the water. I think I might end up calling it quits here and we'll go to the next spot. But I'll keep you guys posted. Absolutely beautiful day here today. Weather is about 70 degrees or so. Let's 
really, really hoping for a really nice bass or pike or a big dogfish. Any kind of big fish would be really cool. Be able to get that on vid for you guys, for you to enjoy all the fun and the action. So we'll see, see how the cookie crumbles, as they say. So we'll get there. All right, everybody. We're actually at our second fishing spot. We'll see if we get lucky. I'm actually gonna be throwing the uh, heavier, medium heavy rod with the Loon 90 series Whopper Plopper just because this is more of a open space here. So we'll see if we can get some bigger fish here to come out and smash this thing. If not, we'll go to the smaller rooster tail. See if that does the job. Just gotta be really cautious here. Don't wanna be going in the water. But this is a calm spot here on the river, so we'll see. The water level is a lot, lot lower, I feel, than what it was just the other day. Might even have dropped about, I don't know couple two three inches yeah I'm thinking probably gonna have to go with the rooster tail can't really get a good cast because there's a lot of vegetation around me and I don't want to get snagged it's a better cast but I don't think the big ones are in here I think, if anything, I'm going to be spooking the uh, smaller fish in this spot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and switch up to the rooster tail. Ooh, I almost caught that branch by a smidge. All right, folks. We are going to switch up to the good old fashion rooster tail. Switch up to that here. Get that rocking and rolling. Let's see if we can get some. Oh wow, there's a blue heron right there, right above me. Blue heron flying above me. Got a lot of those guys at Lake Dale. They love to eat the fish. That is their meal. Fish. Let's see if we can uh, get anything here with the rooster tail. Even, uh, even a little fish would be nice. This is just so exciting when like you come to a new fishing spot and every cast could be a fish, like a really good fish too, you know? So it's just super exciting to, to like, boom, get that strike. It's just, it's, it's an adrenaline, adrenaline rush for sure. Especially in your first freaking cast, oof. Well, you guys saw earlier, like, my, I think, second cast that I had with the rooster tail. I had hit that little green sunfish. All right, well, stay tuned and uh, let's see, see if I can get anything here. If I can get anything for you, I'll turn the camera on. All right, everybody, we uh, finally made it to the final fishing spot. It's about a quarter to six right now, so I have a good, or a quarter to seven, I should say. Hold on, let me double check. So it's 10 to six, so 
I gotta probably leave out of here by about 6.30, so I got about 45 minutes. All right, so we're using the light tackle rod with the same rooster tail here. Really hoping for a good bass here. There was a massive, massive fish here uh, on Sunday, two days ago. Massive fish. I don't know if it was a bass, a pike, or a steelhead, or what, but it was huge. So, got a four pound line. We'll see what happens. And I got my net open and fairly close to me. So, we'll see if we can get any luck. Wish me luck, guys. Hoping to land a good one. Tug on it a little bit to make sure it's spinning. And I have such a good feeling about this spot. I really do. Really good feeling about this spot. Oh, oh man, I had something, bro. Ooh, that was, oh yes, this is, this is good, guys. This is good, stay tuned, stay tuned. Okay, that's, that's a really positive sign. Really positive sign. Okay, oh, yes. I saw, I saw something go for it. Okay, there's stuff and there's, there's fish in here, guys. Oh, guys, got a fish. Got a fish, guys. Oh, nice. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that baby. Yes. Yes. Beautiful crappie. Look at that thing. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Got a good fish here, guys. It's a Nice, got it on the rooster tail. Yes, it's like a good uh, six inch, six and a half, uh, six and a half inch crappie there. It's a good size. Good little fighter. Fortunately, I have to whip it there in the bank. All right, sweet. Let's see if we can catch another one. Got a fish on, guys. Unfortunately, I didn't get the catch, but we got a bluegill, baby. Nice little bluegill here. The rooster tail. So we got bluegill, got green sunfish, had a crappie. Getting some fish today. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get a bass. I would love to get a bass out of here. Well, 
what can I say? Rooster tail's getting the job done, so I could land a big fish. So freaking weak. I could land a big fish. Fish on, fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get up here. Holy crap. Look at that rock freaking bass, yo. Whoo, baby, that is a eater. Ooh, look at that chunk of a rock bass, everybody. Holy crap, that is a really good freaking eater. That's probably what smoked this thing right along the edge. Look at this butte, everybody. Look at that. Bigger than my hand. Look at that butte. Gotta get it in the sun here. I can get it in the sun. Well, good enough, but there we go. Look at that rock bass, everybody. If you've never caught these things, are like basically mini uh almost the same fight as like a mini um small mouth they're good to eat too i i enjoy eating them it's a rock bass everybody butte solid fish good fighter thank you Let's see if we can get another one of those big ones that was awesome. There's my bass that I wanted. Well, I would like to have a largie, but I will go any freaking day for a rock bass. That was beaut. That was right on the freaking money too. That was awesome. That was freaking sweet. I love how those rock bass fight. They're basically like mini, like you know how you go to the autograph store? You got that uh, mini helmet. Uh, that's a mini football. And if you guys know what I'm talking about for smallies, we call them footballs. Well, this is like a mini, mini smallie. Get off. There we go. Well, the uh, rooster tail is uh, striking big for me today, which is a big plus. This is the 1 8 ounce rooster tail. Definitely doing the job today, which I figured would do great in this water. So. Kudos to the rooster tail. So we have on vid today and in the record books, we have, I believe, three green sunfish. We've got a bluegill. We've got a crappie. And we've got a rock bass. That's pretty dang good fishing for light rod rooster tail fishing kind of scoping out the scene here to see if we could catch a beast but I'll take those smaller panfish any day all right everybody we're at our uh, last stop we're gonna be fishing here for about 10 minutes or so see if we can catch anything here this is our initial big bass spot from last year or so Wish me luck. We'll, we'll keep the camera rolling. Keep the camera rolling on this one. 
I just feel lucky. Sun's going down in about an hour. I just feel lucky about this spot right here. See if I could make a really nice, good cast here without getting stuck. Oh, perfect. Hopefully you guys got that. That was a blue heron making a bunch of bunch of noise. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other spot. The other spot, I'm probably just gonna be catching a ton of little guys. But I want some more action on the rod before I officially call it quits and go home. So stay tuned. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in today. And I think I might end up calling it a wrap. Sun's going down and I got to get out of here before the dark. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you subscribe, stay tuned, and I would definitely, for sure, love to come back for more river action here. And I definitely would plan to bring both of these rods, the medium heavy and the light rod, for sure, because there are some big fish in here. So we get a lot more rain in this area. We get the levels to rise. There'll be some nice honey holes to fish and uh, start smashing some bigger fish on the rods. That's the plan. Hopefully one time I could just come out here one time for uh, just a pan fish. You know, sort of like a catch and cook kind of thing. Cause I eat pan fish, so. I know they got crappie in here. They got rock bass, they got bluegill. They got everything in here um, and largemouth. Uh, they've got rock bass. I don't know if there's any smallies in here. Uh, maybe in the deeper parts, there may be a slim chance, but my buddy said that there's a uh, pike, steelhead and stuff like that in here. So there's some big ones in here. It's just, you gotta, fish them out so i'm gonna go ahead and fish over there for about 10 minutes five ten minutes or so and wrap this baby up and uh i think we've got a win-win for today so thank you all for tuning in and i'm so excited to come back because this place is it's awesome there's a lot of sweet honey holes that i found and uh proof is in the pudding All right, everybody, I don't have the uh, catch of this little guy, but this is a little green sunfish. I don't know doing this little video for this guy, 
because the other guy that I had caught was even more of a micro fish than this. But that's a little micro green sunfish. Pretty dang cool. So there you go, little guy. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a couple more casts here. I know I said I was closing out, but not, not if I'm catching more fish. telling you man uh this rooster tail it is a game changer uh for your tackle box because this thing can catch anything from super micro fish to really big fish just depends, I guess, on the size of the rooster tail that you have. You know, if you have a good one ounce rooster tail or two ounce rooster tail, you can get some, you know. Oh, baby. That was a good strike right there, guys. Maybe it's a bass. Bass, first bass of the day, maybe. Oh, yeah, baby. So freaking wheat. First bass. Actually, you know what? This might be a creek chub. I have never in my life caught a creek chub. Yeah, I think this might be a creek chub, everybody. Ooh. Little guy's bleeding. I'm sorry, little guy. Dude, he freaking double hooked himself good. All right. If anybody could tell me, I think that is a little creek chub. Sorry, little guy. All right, we're going to put this there. If you all can look at that. All right. Swim away, little creek chub. I think that very well might have been a creek chub. Never in my life caught one of those until now. So a surprise fish for me. Surprise first timer fish. Little baby uh, creek chub. Um, I just absolutely love fishing. Calms the nerves, gets you out in nature. And if you eat fish, shoot. You're, you're able to catch your own freaking dinner. That's the sweet part. And you have fun doing it. Oh, baby. That is like a perfect bass spot right there. That is a perfect rock bass spot. Rock bass, any kind of bass. Smally, largey. Man, this, this little guy's kicking some booty today getting a bunch of fish can't go wrong with catching a bunch of fish man and literally this is i well okay i can't say can't say i didn't try a different lure but um i did do my my whopper plopper for a little bit but that did absolutely nothing Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make one more cast, and i got to get a move on here. Final cast. Get lucky and get a fish. Oh, I have to go back. I have to make another cast right in that middle spot there it it something bit it right in that middle spot there
There it is. There's that bite. Oh yeah, we got something. There we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a sunfish. Green sunfish. Little itty bitty guy. These are like little aquarium microfish, but they're really pretty. They'll grow up to be pan, good sized panfish one day. See a little guy. I really got to come back again. I'm super stoked about this place. Ton of action today on the classic rooster tail, one eighth ounce rooster tail. Look at this thing. It's getting all banged up, but uh, I'm telling you, man, rooster tails, they do the job every time. But the fish are in the location. You could basically do a scouting, what I call scouting for fish. I don't know if that's what anyone else would call it, but I'd go scouting for fish with a rooster tail because you can get it into small tight spots and zone in on a good location and basically make like a two to three casts and you know scout out the area you can cover a decent amount of uh water with a rooster tail you know just doing like zone fishing or they call like i don't know zone fishing uh like almost like a rainbow where you do like a what is it a 180 where you cast spots like that you go from left to right or right to left and you just cast till you get hits or you actually succeed with landing some fish and determining the size and the health of the fish and the quality of the fish so anyway, thank you all for watching today. We absolutely crushed the fish today here with the little small one eighth ounce rooster tail. Stay tuned for more future videos and I will be ripping some lips for the 2023 season is just starting everybody. Thank you all for tuning in today. Much love and love for the nature and the fish. Thank you.